Hi friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. I have a little update, little tour of my plant room for you today and give you some updates on some plants that I have in the uh, ICU. So let's, let's get to it. Okay, so let's start off over here um, in my propagation station hospital ICU unit. I do have another lamp set up here. I got this on Amazon um, and I put my Sansi, I'm sorry it's so bright, I don't want to put the camera right into it, uh, my Sansi 25 watt bulb there. And I've got it kind of turned away so it's not so bright. But here I have a couple of plants that are suffering from spider mites and that I'm treating. This is my philodendron birkin. I discovered this last week that it had spider mites very quickly. I mean, it was like within two days I noticed that it had uh, spider mites. And so I sprayed it down with, I have this organic insecticidal soap that I use. So I sprayed it down with that and there were some leaves on it that were real bad real yellow you can see some damage on this one i have cut those other ones off and left some of the better ones on and it's doing okay i don't know how it's going to be in growing new leaves because the new leaves that it was growing um died inside of its little sheath here and I had to pull them out um, because it was already affected too by the spider mites so we'll see how it does and this morning when I was getting ready for this video let me see if we can turn that even more I found this little guy this little bonsai had spider mites all inside there are a bunch of little webs but the strange thing about it is that it's giving off a lot of new growth you see that all those little buds so I brought it over here, sprayed it down, and we'll see how it does. Um, I've got some things propagating here, a trailing jade and some more um, string of dolphins. Um, my uh, aloe aristata, I've got it sitting here because I think it's in dormancy and it lost its taproot but it's not dead so I've just got it sitting in some soil I'm not watering it or anything I'm just leaving it alone and my aglaonema silver bay seems to be coming back the new leaves are unfurling so people are recovering and growing here so that's good remember the um, monsteret and sonii leaf that I had for my mom this is the leaf she gave me that I propagated in water got the roots and look a new leaf opened has little tiny slits so <laughs> that's good I'm happy about that and I've got it right by the humidifier I've got my new humidifier here I think I mentioned to you recently that I'm trying out the Alec Holmes uh, humidifier because you can pour top pour it which I like and it's doing really well um, it does have a remote control but I really use it I just come in and turn it on and my crocodile fern is right next to it seems to be doing well has a little, little bit of crispiness right here but other than that it's doing okay it's hanging in there there's some growth down in there I've got one little crispy leaf down here oh okay we'll just take that out <laughs> but I try to keep an eye on it as far as the watering keep it right near the humidifier I just filled it with water and turned it on that's why the humidity is so low it's just been turned on and then over here is my main rack or uh, shelving this is a wardrobe bamboo wardrobe hanger for clothes and shoes and stuff and I use it for uh, my plants and um, it seems to be working out just fine I have up top here let's see if I can show it without blinding you this is the house bright bulb I think it is a 20 watt I'll put it on the screen here I have to check the box 
and I have that shining down to get the top rows and the hanging plants but I realized that some of the bottom row here were not getting enough light so I purchased this octopus looking thing from Amazon last week and I can basically turn it in any way I want it does have a control there where you can set it for a timer you can set it for brightness you know whatever um, so I had I have it set I just come in and turn it on in the morning and that way my bottom plants here the micans and the sense of areas will get light and anything I have going here my imperial red philodendron imperial red look at that new leaf yes girl and my imperial green philodendron imperial green these are both from uh, Hertz Gardens they came in a little two inch um, containers and they're doing really well as far as growth and that is a cutting that I have from my um, try to scan to a purple heart and it's green it's reverted to green because it wasn't getting enough light the one I have outside is purple because it gets sunshine I'm gonna have to just put this outside and then here all my little baby Hoyas they're doing so well these are all the ones that um, Yuko sent me and look at this Australis new leaves the Puba Calyx, new leaf, and the Hoya Carnosa. This is the Bertanii. It, it is rooted. I put it in water propagation before I put it here. So I have them all here in a little tray so when I water then the, the water goes on the tray and it gets sun or sun <laughs> light from down here and light from up above. And then some other little ones that I have here, my little tiny Hoya Linearis, it's doing well. And then what's left of my uh, ruby necklace, just one strand. And these, I'm uh, it's a string of bananas that I'm propagating for my mom. They've already got roots from water propagation. I'm just getting them settled in soil before I take them to her. My um, Peperoma raindrop. Um, it had two stems. The second one was suffering, so I had to cut it. So I'm hoping that that will help. But the other one is doing well, giving off new leaves. And then this is a little piece of my Peperomia tucifolia variegated. This little piece here wasn't doing too well let's see if I can get better light this little piece here wasn't doing too well so I had to take it out and um, do some water therapy on it and now it's in soil and it's coming back it's got a little bit of leaf damage but it's doing okay let me just take this down this is my uh, stapelia lots and lots of growth on this baby and it had two tiny 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 and I mean tiny little blooms on it I was put a picture of it here but they dried up and fell off I was so disappointed because I thought finally finally this plant is going to give me blooms and it just gave me two buds they died off but it's definitely growing so I'm just going to leave it here under this light and then over here let me take him down too this is my philodendron royal queen um, doing well and um, new growth up here it's gave off three leaves at once that's something the two haven't unfurled yet and that one has so it's doing well up here and you probably remember this kangaroo paw fern from my last um, shop with me and haul video that I did. I did move the Hoyas that are here. I'll show you a picture of where they're at now in the living room because this gal needed some room. Look at her and all her beauty. Now I do have a little four inch pot here of Hoya, Hoya lacunosa. 
because the six inch pot that um, I had, I put new soil in and repotted it and I actually ended up separating it to a little one that I have plans for to give to someone. So she was able to fit right in here. And my Mikan's down there and philodendron, um, neon philodendron growing here. Look how pretty that is. She's a really slow grower for me. <clears throat> I've had her in different spots. I had her in the bedroom. I had her in the living room. Now I have her here. And she seems to be liking it because here she's given off more leaves than anywhere else. So what are you going to do? And my Sansevierias down here. I'm trying to adjust the light as I go. Um, Cylindrica, the starfish. Stucky eye back there. This is enough light for them. The ambient light from the house bright bulb up there and this octopus thing here i don't know the name of it um is enough ambient light now here is my raffidophora tetrasperma remember i did the um moss pole addition to it and made it longer and put the new moss pole on it it's growing very much look at that it's just giving off leaf after leaf barely one opens another one comes out so i gotta adjust it some more and attach it to that i'm thinking that it may be getting ready for some propagation maybe cut the top propagate it and then put it back into the pot to make this a little bit more full so i think that may be what i do next so keep you posted on that my <coughs> rubber tree here burgundy rubber tree is doing great I think it's slowing down, so I think it may be going into dormancy because it hasn't really given off any new leaves. These are the newest down here. And this baby, my philodendron burl marks. Look at how much it has grown since I showed it to you in, my, in the hall. Look at all these new leaves. Just gorgeous. And look at this. Getting ready to unfurl. It's just incredible this guy um i have not repotted him he's obviously very very happy in his little pot and uh the soil looks good um i've watered it once since i got him and you know i check it with the with the uh, uh moisture meter and um so he's doing good he's in that basket doing great um Here's an update on the baby whale fins that my subscriber Maria sent me. They're doing really good. Look at that. No yellowness, no browning tips, nothing. They're just doing great. Okay. Oh, let me give you an update. Look at my string of hearts. Look at that. I did have one come loose and I just kind of laid it down in here hoping that it will take root there and fill in that space but it's got these four <laughs> trails on it that are just gorgeous and it's growing so much I mean so quick so I'm happy with that so up here everything's growing really well I did take a cutting of this trailing jade that my friend Emily from Suckling Greenhouse sent me <clears throat> from right here because it was reaching all the way down. So I took that cutting and I'm going to plop it back in here to fill it up, but it's just going great. And the, a piece of it is variegated. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love, love this plant. Succulent wise, trailing jade is its uh, botanical name is Senecio Jacobsonii, and I'll put it here, um, but sometimes you'll hear it referred to as trailing jade. You can get it in the green form. Sometimes it you can find it in the variegated. There is a tricolor one that has pink also. 
If you find that, you've found the golden ticket. And my um, Thanksgiving cactus is growing. I don't see any buds on it. We'll see. Remember my rat tail cactus? It's still growing too. Looking a little spindly still. So, I mean, it gets morning sun here. So I don't know where else to put it, but we'll see how it does. And the dolphins are doing well. As is my uh, string of bananas. This is... Um, uh, cuttings that Yuko sent me also for this is the philodendron bipenifolium the horse head remember I had this one right here that wasn't doing too good and then she sent me these other ones they rooted and I've just potted all of them together here so they're doing really well so the Maranta is doing well I have had to cut off a few leaves that yellowed I think in the transportation of it or something it wasn't happy but the yellowing leaves have stopped and it's been getting new leaves so I'm happy about that and it looks like there's a new bud or something coming in here so it's doing well up here against the wall the other Maranta that I had in uh, water therapy was this one that um, got root rot. I had to cut it all back and then I had it in water therapy. It developed the roots and I just potted it up here. Um, the original leaves, which are this one and this one, you can see I had to cut the brown off, but it's gotten two new leaves and it's got a growth point here and one down in there so um, it's getting better we'll see how it does um, it's in medium to low light back here on the shelf so I think it'll be okay there this is my neon pothos I had to move this one here from the bedroom because it was on the window and look it was getting sun damage it was just too much even though I had it what I thought was a space where it wouldn't get direct it was still either too hot or just too bright or something so I moved it over here and it seems to be getting better it's perked up quite a bit because it was looking sad <laughs> looks like it's giving off new growth there so it'll take a little time to recover I may cut these older leaves off when she gets a little bushier but she's recovering nicely there so I finally got my chair too it came in a little box all in little pieces and that was um, that was something to put together just one person doing it by myself so but it makes filming and potting and everything so so much easier I'll tell you well there you have it friends that is my update for the plants in the plant room things that I've added lights that I've added new humidifier things are going well I haven't changed out the table yet because um, you know mm, girls gotta watch herself you know so but I do like the, the have working on a large table so you know now I'm like okay do I want to switch it out or what but we'll see now if you missed the original video of uh, the debut of the plant room I've got that video right up here so you can check it out there and it shows you the original um, debut of the plant room and, and um, a little bit more detail okay have a blessed day thanks so much for coming by and visiting with me today bye bye